Did she shit in a moon cup? Hey guys, welcome to episode 9 of the Hormone Diaries, trying a menstrual cup for the first time. And I think the best thing to do here is just to let past Hannah take it away. Hello, welcome to my bathroom. I'm sat on the toilet. You'll have to excuse the bathroom fan for the noise. This is what we're working with. Okay, I'm gonna try and use a menstrual cup for the first time. I'm not currently on my period, but it is due any day now. And I've kind of been told by various sources that trying it out before you're on your period is probably the best way to go. Okay, so the cup I'm using is the Diva Cup. I really have no idea about the difference between all of them. I'm just using this one because I got it for free. So it has the stem on it, which I've been told you can leave or you can chop off depending on if it's sticking out or not. I have no idea how high or low my cervix is, so not entirely sure how far this is going to go up, but we'll find out. I've also brought some lube with me because not my period, so might need a little helping hand. Let's wash this and wash my hands first. So apparently there are like two different ways that you can fold it. The first one is like you fold it in half and then you do that. And then the other one is you like push that down um, and like pinch it like that. I think I want to try this one first. I don't know why it just appeals to me more, but if it doesn't work, then we can try the other one. Right. <laughs> I'm generally scared, so I'm going to get some lube. <laughs> uh, oh God, maybe I should have like pinched it before I put the lube on because now it's slippery. Ah! <laughs> okay, putting lube on this is a bad idea because now I can't control it. Maybe let's do this one. Maybe I should have just put lube on my vagina. Okay. fall out into the toilet. Ugh. It's fine, toilet water is clean. Okay, so the lube did not work for me, so I'm just gonna go in. We're just gonna go in. Right. Like, I can't even <laughs> push it in to my vagina. I'm like, come on, you've had... Oh my god, how do people do this? Okay, second try. I'm gonna do the this other folly way. Oh my god, <laughs> I can't balance. I, like, need to hold on to something. Oh. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Okay, so it's inside me, but I don't think it's open. So apparently I need to like... <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing. What if I lose it up there? Oh my God. Like I can't actually really feel it because it's meant to like pop open. So apparently I need to get like my finger in. Damn it, I wish I didn't have nails. Oh my God. Okay, let's just move it around a bit. I can still feel the stem bit, which is good. I'm like reassured that I could maybe grab hold of that. Okay, it's in. I can't feel it, which is amazing. So I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm moving my finger around the base of it and it feel, I can't f feel any parts of it that are like dipped in. So I'm assuming it's all like, out. Okay, so now I'm gonna try and take it out. Jesus Christ. Can I just pull on it? No, because I think you have to like squeeze in. Like squeeze it. Oh my god, how do I get it out? Nope, that's not gonna work. How do people do this? I can't get- oh my god, I feel like I'm just pushing it further in. Oh god, this is terrifying. Am I gonna have to like just go to the doctors now? Okay, wait, I'm going finger and thumb in. Oh, I pinched it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. It's out. Oh, are you joking? <sighs> I might have to practice this a few more times before my period because I'm not confident. Let's do it again. Round two. Okay, that's easier. Oh wait, it's not fully popped. Okay, I think that's it. Woo! <laughs> that was quicker. Right, let's pinch it. This is ridiculous. Wait, is that my cervix? Is that why it's difficult? Oh my god. I swear to god. I think I was better with my left hand. Pinch. Ooh, there we go. Round three. Okay, getting it in, I'm like a pro at now. I'll see you when the bleeding begins. All right, lads, it's time. We've got this, we've got this. So I'm just in the middle of filming some vlogs for Love Honey and I just felt it. I just felt it in my pants. I was like, oh. It started and I think you might even be able to see the moment on my face in the footage when I noticed. Oh shit. Oh shit. So I just stopped filming, went to the toilet to check. Lo and behold, there's some blood. So 
I just went and put the menstrual cup in. It is currently in. I realized that when I was practicing putting it in, I didn't practice like walking around. So that should be interesting today. I don't know how long I'll leave it in for. I'm going over to Lucy's tonight to record a mini sewed for the Banging Book Club. So I might um, like empty it out and check how much I've bled. Um, before I go to that. I'm in a lot of pain, like so much pain. Day one is just always so bad. So I've asked Lena and Lucy to come over here for the Banging Book Club instead of going to Lucy's and they said yes, so oh, I don't have to leave my house. Well. Hi. <laughs> oh, what a night. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go change my menstrual cup. Yeah, and we're gonna Record the reaction. This is a live reaction. I wonder reaction. if you'll be able to smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Lena! Okay, I haven't leaked. Good! <laughs> Have you managed to empty? It's if the you folding. Had the leaked, unfolding, I'd the folding be worried. Is yeah, it's the, it's the unfolding. I mean, no, the folding. <laughs> She's fishing it out. Do you need a hook? <laughs> it's the getting that finger in to pop the seal. Yeah. I'm scared. It's okay. Oh, it. Just like, relax your Just muscles. Say, what if you can't find it? They're pretty fucking big. Wait, I'm not Pretend you're doing a poo with your vagina. No, don't do that because you'll poo. You'll poo. <laughs> That's as long as it's all coming out, it's all good. <laughs> Mate, it's a hard to remove, don't worry. I, Take well, how time. are you sitting? Don't tense. Are you sitting on the toilet? I'm sitting on the toilet, yeah. Squat! I, can't reach. My fingers aren't I know, it's hard. You should get her to do finger exercises. Am I bending yeah, it takes a bit of digging. I'm gonna have to do it for her, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> That's what friends are for. <laughs> it's not stuck in. It is no, not stuck in. You just need to relax. I'm fucking relaxed. <laughs> okay, I'm having a breather. My vagina is getting tense now. I... Sympathy. We're empathetic beings, are we women? <clears throat> I'm clearly not empathising because my vagina is chill. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, give a shit. <laughs> what, how are we doing, Han? So, oh, not well. You've got to get your fingers dirty. Where did you put it? Is it sitting at the base? I think you need to like just sit oh, and like. Jesus Christ! Did it go everywhere? No, no, I just hold on. Do you see what I mean? It like sinks down. Ooh, there it is. Oh, it's like having a baby. It's like on the head. Going in again, ladies. Well, this was a really nice bonding experience. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad that we we did we make it, Hannah. Hey, <laughs> she's on my. Mate, how are you feeling? Okay, to be honest, I'm like way less scared of period blood now. I think I put it too far up because I my, yeah, it needs to sit right my, at the bottom. My fingers were like fully in and I was that was touching the stem. I can do some more like so, 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 I was just like, yeah. I was just like, oh god, get it! Up. You should definitely yeah. be able to feel the stem with just the tips of your fingers. The stem yeah. should almost be poking out. Yeah, so I definitely put it too far up, guys. Just you live and you learn. Vagina's a, a miraculous thing. Yeah! Yeah! The moon landing! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Good morning. So I've decided that I bloody love the menstrual cup. I love it. I love it. It's revolutionary. So after Lucy and Lena left last night um, and I was like lying in bed, I was thinking about what they said about when you just put your fingers in, just like the tip of your fingers being able to touch the, the stem. And so I was just like lying in bed and I was having a feel around and I was like, Where's it gone? And it kind of like it was at like some really weird angle or maybe my body is a weird angle I don't know. So I went into the bathroom and I had a feel around and I had a panic I was like, oh my god I'm gonna have to like keep it in in this awkward position and go to the doctors tomorrow morning But then I did the thing that everyone says to do but I was like I've no idea what they're talking about when they're like when you're taking it out bear down It's the kegels. It's the muscles in your vagina. Imagine the pushing motion of if you were pushing a baby out and as soon as I did that it's like the cup was just like here you go it was like da 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 I didn't take it out then I just kind of like grabbed it rearranged and so it meant this morning when I was taking it out for real I just grabbed it and it was like the easiest smoothest thing ever so the rest of my period went really smoothly once I'd cracked it it was an absolute dream and I am never going back I'm going to use the menstrual cup on all of my periods 
I love it. I have thought of four main reasons that I love the menstrual cup. The first reason is that it is sustainable. It is so much better for the environment than pads and tampons which are disposable. You buy one cup and it's supposed to last you between like 10 and 20 years. So that's amazing. You just clean it. You just rinse it out after every use and then after your period you clean it proper in like a mug of boiling water and you're good to go for the next month. The second reason is that it is cheaper. Yes, a menstrual cup is expensive to begin with but compare that one-off purchase to the amount that we spend on pads and tampons. Huh. Oh my god. In the long run it is such a money saver. You may need to correct me if I'm wrong and maybe it varies between different brands but I think they're about 20 pounds. Third reason I love it is that it feels clean and what I mean by this is that the blood hasn't been soaking up in cotton, it hasn't been just sat outside of your body in a pad for hours and hours, it has been sitting in a plastic cup inside your body inside your body where it's all clean inside and so when you take it out it doesn't smell bad it doesn't look gross it's just blood and I like it it feels clean and the fourth reason I love it is that it confronts me with my body not just my bodily functions and like looking at the period blood and seeing how much I've bled every day but also in putting it in and taking it out you have to like really get up in there and like move it around and really kind of get to know that area in a way that I've never gotten to know before, even in sexual ways. So that's really exciting, it's just like learning new things about my body and getting to know my body even more. It just makes periods less scary and less daunting and less shameful. I love it. I'm thinking that I may get a smaller cup for my lighter days because towards the end of my period I didn't want to put the whole cup up there just for a few drops and I ended up using my Thinks underwear which I may make a whole other video about in the future but the menstrual cup worked wonderfully for days like one, two and three. Alright that is it from this episode of the Hormone Diaries. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know your thoughts and experiences with the menstrual cup in the comments. I love hearing other people's experiences but also like tricks and tips if you have any advice or if there's a certain brand that you like and suits you or any recommendations for a smaller size one for my lighter days if those exist out there. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the Hormone Diaries and I'll see you soon. Bye!